So it is official. We are getting a refresh for the Spa Day Game Pack. And I'm a little bit excited about this one. So we're going to go into everything that we know of the pack so far and when we'll be able to find out more. Now, before we do that, if you have not already, make sure you like this video and click that subscribe button. It really does help us out. But that being said, so The Sims posted this tweet saying, it's our birthday and we'll refresh if we want to. Tune in to the renewed Spa Day trailer and develop her live stream at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow, September 3rd, to learn more about this exciting update. And man, you know what? I have got to say, I have never seen the Sims community as shocked. Nobody saw this refresh coming, like at all. It, it's just completely unheard of. But we do get a little hint down to what we might get in this pack early. Thanks to the Sims community, they happen to capture this uh, official leak, so to speak, of some of the things that are coming. So we're refreshing your spa day. A refresh is when we take a pack and expand upon that core theme, adding new features that elevate the experience. So... Uh, it kind of sounds like they're maybe gearing up to do some more of these refreshes. So fingers crossed that might be fun. Visit the spa. New trait incoming. High maintenance sims may struggle with trivial things, but visiting the spa can lead to catharsis and let you relax those troubles away. We're getting a new trait. That is way more than I would have expected out of a game pack refresh. So that I'm really excited about. Focus on wellness. Don't forget to invite the kids. Yes, kids can now partake in the wellness activities. Plus, earn a few extra simoleons by teaching other Sims how to find control through mindfulness. Ooh, okay, all of that I am loving. I'm loving that the kids can take part in this. I'm loving that you can maybe make some side money on this. Maybe maybe you can kind of make this as a career. Oh, it sounds like they've really added a lot to that. Pamper yourself. Finish up unwinding with manicures pedicures, and facial masks. Ooh! And with the new aspiration, we're getting a new aspiration with it too. Holy cow. Sims seeking inner peace will want to pamper themselves more than ever. Holy cow. So we're getting a new trait, a new aspiration. We're getting manicures, pedicures, facial masks. We're getting kids to be able to interact with the wellness activities. We're getting a new way to make money. That is really, really exciting. So it seems like this game refresh is, it's a genuine thing. They put some genuine effort in there it's it seems like so I'm very excited to see that but we also got some pictures and I'm really excited to see the pictures because I think it kind of hints towards other little things that maybe weren't in that first bit so right here at first of course we see the nails okay that's very upfront and obvious but look at the girl just directly behind her it looks like she's snacking on cucumbers and if I'm not mistaken we don't have cucumbers in the game yet or not that you can snack and eat anyway so that that's kind of exciting I also noticed the toddler behind her has some sort of face mask on and that might be a new outfit I'm not sure we get this other picture that shows the face masks them getting manicures and pedicures you see a little bottle of nail polish up here on the front but you know what I'm excited about those face masks because that face mask with the pink robe we are literally Literally one hairstyle away from being able to recreate mom from The Sims 2. I am really excited about the idea of being able to recreate mom from The Sims 2. Okay, that that just that really really excites me. Then we have this next picture, which if I'm not mistaken, those yoga mats are new swatches. Like obviously they want the the idea and the focus to be on the kids there. You know, they're doing yoga and all kinds of fun stuff and. That's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I am so excited for kids to be able to do new activities, but look at those yoga mats. I am fairly certain we don't have those swatches. I know we don't have the pizza swatch that that little girl is, is doing yoga on. So I'm, I'm excited for the new swatches of those. And then also on this meditation, those are new meditation cushions. We're getting new meditation cushions. Um, and I'm, that might be a new hairstyle on that kid too. I'm not entirely sure. So it seems like this pack refresh 
it's it's gonna be a really really good refresh it seems like they're genuinely trying to add some content and stuff like that to this pack to kind of make it a little better now why this pack has been a thing of much speculation you know outdoor retreat came out before this one why was this one picked first i kind of have the feeling it goes down to sales i kind of get the feeling that maybe spa day was one of the least selling packs so they're trying to refresh it to kind of maybe get a little more money out of it i mean let's let's call a spade a spade the sims 4 has to make money if they're not making money we don't get the game anymore so but i i feel like this would be a good way to do that this is adding content to something we already have people who have already bought the kit are practically getting this for free and it gives more incentive to people to want to buy the kit i think this is a really really great way that they are approaching this so long as it's done correctly and that's what everything always comes down to with the sims team i feel like it has to be done correctly which so far knowing what we've seen thus far it looks like it's being done correctly so we will just have to wait and see tomorrow is when we get the trailer i don't know if it will be an if it will come out tomorrow also it might it might not i don't know but after that, we are also going to have a developer live stream, and it will be very interesting to see what they talk about during this time. One of the things that I really, really am hoping they address is the whole window controversy from um, Industrial Loft Kit. Now, they did reply a tweet that we will be getting that window at some point, but I, I kind of feel like the tweet they replied with was maybe a little jokingly, which I, I can understand having, you know, a light sense of humor, don't get me wrong, but I, I really kind of feel like this would be something that they, they need to actually address, like, I don't want to say in person because you're not really in person, but you're on a live stream. I feel like this is something that needs to be addressed during a live stream just because it's left such a bad taste in the mouth of so many simmers that I, I definitely think this is something they, they need to talk about live. But I will be watching this live stream and we will see exactly what they reveal during this time if we're, if we're going to get anything fun and exciting or what we're going to get. It's going to be very, very interesting. So let me talk about this build here for a second. Since I'm kind of excited about the spa day kit, I decided I wanted to build a spa, but I didn't want to do just a normal spa that we've had a million times. I decided I wanted to take this idea of a spa and kind of combine it with the industrial loft kit that we got. So the building that I've built is supposed to be an old flour mill and for whatever reason they closed down and the sim who bought it decided to turn it into a spa it's kind of a spa and lounge the upstairs area is kind of loungy the the you know downstairs area is kind of spa-y but there's there's really a whole bunch of cool stuff that we have in this spa it's really really great so let's go ahead and take a look at this spa so this is the outside and as you can see I kind of tried to stick with the way warehouse type factory feel and vibe to it so we have you know the main building here and then we have these other side buildings here that would be used as like storage or stuff for you know when we had too much uh too much flour or whatever on the back I did add some mural areas a basketball goal and this is supposed to be kind of like a community garden um obviously these things aren't specifically spa related but I did kind of want to make it where no matter what your sims do do. There's something for you here. So coming in the front, you have the little reception area and then a little waiting lounge. Then we have our bathrooms. You have the lockers, the sink with the three showers. I did use the showers from Snowy Escape because I kind of feel that those will um, be able, you can use those wearing your bathing suit. So it kind of provides for that little bathrooms here. You come in this way and you have the yoga studio here where you can take 
take yoga lessons complete with an incense holder. So if you want to get that boost to your skill, go for it. Come around this way. We have the little manicure, pedicure, hand massage, foot massage area, which I kind of like. And then I put a little TV across here so your Sims can watch TV while they're getting that done. And not to mention the full massage area. Then there's also a gym attached. So you have treadmills and weight machines you can work on and work out with. Then coming up these stairs, you go into kind of the lounge area. So they have this a bar for a mixology. You can get some drinks. And then not to mention over here, we have a little lounge area. We have a little stage with a microphone and piano. So your Sims can, you know, have some fun while they're doing that. Coming outside in the three storage buildings, they've all been converted to different things. So inside this one, we have kind of a meditation area where in the there's even incense in on the floor here, so you can get that skill boost if you want, plus just kind of a nicely decorated thing. We have one of these healing pools from Snowy Escape, so I, I just kind of felt like that was a good addition to a spa. And over here, we have a pool, so definitely there's a lot you can do at this spa. It kind of caters a little bit to everyone, and it definitely fits with the industrial loft kit that we just got, which don't forget to check out my review on the industrial loft kit. I have, I have a funny love hate relationship with it. Um, but, and it also looks beautiful in San Myshuno. So this is been definitely fun. I haven't built a spa in a really, really long time. So this was a definitely a really fun thing to do, but that is it for today. So I will be watching the live stream later today and I will make a review post on it. But I, I can't wait. I think this is going to be really fun and excited, exciting and I'm excited to see what all we're going to get with this pack refresh. But that being said, like I said, if you have not liked or subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and do that now and I will see everyone next time. Bye!